Hi, today is September 8th, 2023, and here are my poems for the day. The first one is poem number 1447 for the year, Candy Cane from last year. Last year, I hung a couple of candy canes on the Christmas tree. I don't think my daughter likes candy canes, because months after the tree was gone, the candy canes were still in the kitchen. Back in March, or April, or maybe June, or July, or maybe May, I ate one of them. Yesterday, I noticed that the other one is still here. So I temporarily moved it from the kitchen to the living room. Either I will throw the candy cane away, or I will eat it, or I will keep it until next Christmas. When it comes to the candy cane, I have no idea what I will do. Poem number 1448, Candy Cane from Late Last Year. It's to the tune of a... Candy cane from late last year, why on earth are you still here? Placed above my fireplace, please don't punch me in the face. Candy cane from late last year, why on earth are you still here? Poem number 1449, Candy Cane. The candy cane leans against the exposed brick, looking all haughty, like it's better than me, like it knows shit. The candy cane is all like, fuck you then, eat me, go ahead and fucking eat me. Yeah, that's what I thought, you don't have the fucking stones. I could point out that I ate a candy cane sometime earlier this year, but what the fuck do I care what a candy cane thinks? I really don't see the point of getting into it with the candy cane, but I will say that it's kind of acting like a piece of shit, and if the candy cane tastes anything like the way it's been acting, then I definitely don't want to eat it. Poem number 1450, The Candy Man. I feel so bad. I just went into the kitchen, and there was a man made of candy crawling on the counter, and he asked me if I had seen his cane. Poem number 1451. This is the last poem of the day. Final thoughts on the candy cane. The candy cane has been watching me and judging me the whole time I've been writing these poems. It watched me while I wrote a few of yesterday's poems, too. I'd like to think the candy cane is just looking for love, but I believe the candy cane just wants to be sucked off, and then it will be gone. So, But homie don't play that, so when I'm done with these poems, which I almost am, I'm bringing the candy cane back to the kitchen. The candy man, the candy man will be able to walk again, and all will be right with the world. Oh, wait, I just thought of a riddle. Why did the candy cane act like a dick? Because it wanted to be sucked off. All right. Thank you. That's it. I appreciate you.